I'd imagine it's about as bad as it's going to get at the moment because I have yet to see a healthy coral. There's no coral I haven't seen that isn't bleached. What's going to happen from now is uh, some of those corals will grow algae on them, they'll grow uh, things that will stop the coral reforming uh, and they'll die. The reason that we're seeing extensive coral bleaching on the Great Barrier Reef at the moment is because of this unseasonably high temperature. You can see it's fluctuating from about 30 degrees to 34, so the average is above 30, and that's what's keeping the coral bleached. Australia needs to decide, do we want a reef or do we want coral, because we can't have both. We need to step up. I would encourage any Australian to come out and look at the reef right now. This untouchable, you know, largest living structure on Earth that's visible from space. And I could tell you right now from space, it will be visible as a white streak down the side of Australia. But, you know, to be honest, I am very worried that, uh, because of what, of what I've seen in the last few days, that I'm, I'm witnessing the death of a, a large section of the reef. Now, I bring my kids out here, to be honest, right now I would be ashamed to bring my children to the reef. <laughs>